You guys like those spooky noises? That was Minecraft cave noises that I just played on my on my video. You guys ever have like recent, like my dog just threw up in my room, just like on my carpet, and all I could do was go like, Ugh! 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 you know what I mean? Just like you're so frustrated, but you don't know what to do about it. Yeah, oh, you can't. We guess what am I gonna do, right? What am I gonna, I'm gonna yell at my dog. No, I'm not gonna just you know, like scream at my dog for vomiting. So I, all I can like do is like in frustration, just at no one in general, go like, wah, wah, wah. hi Lucas, how's it going? Just look at your dog and go. Very ah, happy to see you here, Lucas. We just picked up the flamethrower. Pizza Tower just got a new update. That's awesome to hear, man. But it's Halloween. That means I'm playing Alien Isolation. Not Pizza Tower, I'm afraid. So I am very excited. Yep, we just got the flamethrower. Uh, and so Claude claims, my, my good friend Claude claims that the game gets marketably worse once you get the flamethrower. But I guess we'll find out. I wonder what happens if I just like burn this person. He doesn't care at all. Okay. Let's see, so... Oh god! The hell? My motion detector says there's someone here! Alright, let's see, where are we going? Uh, track it down in the spire and isolate it. Alright, let's do it. Apparently there's an item down here that I missed. Yes, hello Lucas. It's good to see you. It's always nice to see you. I appreciate you dropping by. Oh, it's a map. Probably not for anything I haven't seen already. Ripley, you on your way? Yep. Yeah. Ricardo's moving in ahead of you. Wrong way. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android Processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm gonna get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. Samuel's okay doing that? Guy said he wanted to help and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. I guess. Look, Ripley, we're the only people standing between Sevastopol and outright disaster. Outright disaster has already happened, Waits. All we can do now is kill that fucker. True. Outright disaster has pretty much already happened. Like, I mean, look at this place. It's doing very bad. Like, I'm just gonna be real with you. It looks terrible in here. I'm guessing there's not gonna be anything around here. I just wanted to come check for loot. Nice. Loot, loot, loot. Absolute brain. Anyway, sorry about not screaming recently. Um, I've been busy. And I'm screaming kind of late because I worked out for a bit. Instead of, uh, that's fully empty. Instead of heading straight home to scream. But, I have got a Wi Fi extender plugged into my computer now. Weird. Um,. And I'm really hoping mice man on that mice grind exactly. So I've now got a Wi-Fi extender in my room, and I've got my computer plugged into it with an Ethernet cable. And uh, I'm really hoping that it will make it so my stream does not crash at random moments. I guess we'll have to see. I, again, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. But I have high hopes. It's been treating me pretty good so far. So you guys will have to tell me if uh, anything unfortunate happens with the stream. How, how's the quality? How's the sound? Let me know that too. I want to know everything when it comes to the actual streaming process. Not, not related to gameplay. Don't tell me if I'm bad at games because I already know I'm fantastic at them. 
and I'll just know you're lying. But when it comes to like the actual screen quality, as in like how it looks, I would like to know, please. Everything's okay? Good to hear. Thank you. Thank you. You guys excited for Halloween? It's fast approaching. My goal is to finish Alien Isolation. Dude, I swear to god I just saw a person there. My goal is to finish Alien Isolation before Halloween. Uh, which I think we'll be able to do. I feel like we're making pretty good time. Uh, I know the flamethrower is kind of late in the game. I'm pretty sure. Um, please do, it'd be so base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make it. Can I make another med kit? No. I should really make more med kits. Uh, I feel like we're getting pretty far into the game. As it were. I'm in the Systex Spire. Ripley, heads up. I'm reading lots of malfunctioning systems in your area. Malfunctioning systems, huh? Alright, which way to the server hub? Oh, I've been here before. A lot, actually. Seek some. But yeah, I feel like we're getting pretty good, pretty along. Here, let's turn on the speaker system. Maybe it will distract some of the uh, baddies that are around. Such as the alien isolated himself. Or herself. Yes, I am heading in the right direction. I do not have the passcode. I do have... I do not... I thought I had a plasma torch, but I think I have an ion torch, actually. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is the starting area. Yes, so coming back here uh, with all my new stuff is very cool and exciting. Uh, so there's probably going to be a bunch of doors that I previously did not have access to. Oh my god! What on earth? Ow, I got fucking got, dude! Think fast, Chuckle Nuts. Yeah, apparently. Oh, come on, man. Gotcha. Okay, gotta activate the fire suppression system. Stunned that asshole. Give me that beer. Think fast, Chuckle Nuts. Jeez, what a jerk. I really don't have time to fuck around out here, buddy. You know what? Fuck you. Can I please? Oh, for God's sake. I was- Ah! Jerk! Oh. That was a waste of a bullet. That was- Damn it, I wasted a bullet there. Oh my goodness, what a, what a mess, honestly. Okay, where is the fire suppression system? Through here? Ow. Ow, ah. Uh. Uh, right mouse button. Ah, come on! Open up! But give me the loot first. Well, that didn't help at all. Oh, this isn't helping. Am I losing health in there? I gotta find the fucking fire suppression system. What does it look like? What does a fire suppression system look like in this world? Ah! 
Ah, there it is. Oh my goodness, what a mess. What a mess. Ridiculous. Ugh. It's the sprinklers. Yeah, I, I meant like, what is, I figured it was sprinklers. Wait, what's wrong with this station? It's always been falling apart, but because of the decommission, a lot of the systems have been shut down. Add to the fact that everyone's too busy trying to stay alive to maintain anything, and you end up with goddamn chaos. I got an achievement for stunning that guy, by the way. I didn't mention it at the time. I'm heading back the wrong way. Oh, for God's sake. Um, yeah, I meant, like, what is the button to trigger? Oh, there's people. Shit, why are there people? I'm just gonna sneak around them. Oh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You guys don't see me. Oh, this is not good. Uh... I'm just sneaking on by. Don't mind me, damn it. This door is locked. Damn it. What is this? Oops. What is this symbol again? Area exit? Uh. Oh, the upper level? You don't see me. Nothing to see here. Moving along. Hey, journeyman. Good to see you. Good to see you. You know what? Honestly, I still think we need more supplies, guns, I'm, food, wherever we can find it. I mean, I don't want to engage with these people unless absolutely necessary. I cannot believe they don't see me, though. I mean, I'm just like squeaking along here. Also, I'm pretty sure the alien is in this general area. Oh, you know what might distract them? Uh, do 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 do. A flare, actually. You guys want to go check that out? You guys don't care about that random flare that just appeared out of nowhere? That doesn't bother you in the slightest? No? Not a care in the world? Okay, sure, man. Well, listen. I'm just gonna keep walking. I feel like that guy's looking right at me. There's... Did something back there just explode? No. Nope. It's the least of your problems. The creature's nearby. You heard the lady. Let's go. Oh, wait. Do you guys not care about me? Oh, what the hell? I thought you guys were enemies. I've been sneaking around this whole time. And then Ripley just like casually addresses them. What the hell? <laughs> That's so funny. Did something back there just explode? <sighs> Shit. Here I am, fucking around. The fucking Xenomorph is here. I mean, I got a flamethrower now, but... Oh, it's checking out my flare. Perfect, the flare was useful. I knew it. Dude, it's like, what the hell is this? I've never seen a red light before. Yo, guys, you really want to stick around here? There's a fucking xenomorph down there, you know? I don't know if it's a great idea to be up here chit-chatting, you know? I feel like maybe you guys should get the hell out of here. Wait, the creature. How are we gonna seal it in? The spire was built to process high-value compounds dredged up from the gas giant. Piracy precautions are still in place. The 
tower can be shut off, vents, doors, everything. Mm. So you build a cage around the creature, then Ricardo locks it down. Yeah, sounds easy enough. Will do, buddy. Okay. I hope I'm heading in the right direction. I'm trying to get to the server hub, right? I hope this is the right way. I mean, I just got a... I just got a voice line trigger. Yeah, objective updated. I know, I've been heading to the server hub for like a while now. Where? Dude, what? What is it, upstairs? What? Where is it? Great, thanks for the advice. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Everyone quiet. Everyone just remain calm. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. Okay, good job remaining calm, everyone. I hope this is where I'm supposed to be. Door control. Uh, these people have been told Sevastopol's probably due to for a scrap heap, right? I guess I'm message from Elson and Seeks and Accounts. Can we fix the hand dryer in the restroom? Can we hell? Next time one of these bullshit requests come through, send them right back. We're about to strip this place out, not patch it up. Not receiving messages. Expecting an order from off station that should have arrived by now. I usually get several a week, but there's nothing. Can someone check my comms unit? I can't afford to lose this business. Let's see if something slipped through Apollo's net. Sixon has cut its loss and is sent to set to abandon. I'm very much calm. Right. Hello, madam. Hello, everyone. This is yet another sign of the retrenchment that is rife through the sector. Some days that is, oh, excuse me, it is felt as if corporate pride was the only thing keeping this troubled station in orbit above KG-348. Living aboard this station today, it's abundantly clear that Sixon has gambled wildly with both its own investment and that of the banking court. The old judge rush and the space colonization, its hubris, and its overexpansion has cost us our second-tier corporations dearly. Wayland Yutani uh, can weather these storms. Even the company, however, must hear alarm bells ringing as it looks towards these fading orbital outposts. Okay. Open the door, please. Ricardo's finalizing the lockdown. You need to close the security doors all around the stairwell. God. Then the supply storage, maintenance access, and server hub reception. Report in as you go. Yep, no problem. Seal off the stairwell. Easy peasy. Not sure why it all comes down to me. I feel like there are probably more qualified people for this position. But you know what? A girl can't be picky in this day and age, I guess. Uh... Okay, you were supposed to go further out. This seems somewhat irregular. This doesn't usually happen. Yes, it doesn't. How true, how true. Which way am I going here? Let's go this way. Very interesting, that flare. Okay, there we go. Easy PC. Yoink. Okay, I gotta seal off this stairway, I guess. Uh, so... I mean, this door looks pretty sealed to me. I think that's good to go. I would like to craft up another medkit here. Because these things are hard to come by. He doesn't see me. 
Wow, that was very close to bad. I'm gonna go play the Halloween update for Pizza Tower. Have fun icing the alien. I'll be back. Okay, bye, Lucas. Looking forward to seeing you again. Robot. No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He does not know. The stupid robot does not know. Yoink! Meanwhile, I got this goddamn alien running around. You want to head back down? No, you're gonna go higher up? Sure, why don't ya? Maintenance access. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta get to maintenance access anyway. What is this? All right. D. Initiating shutdown. Beep boop bop beep. Access shut off. Affirmative. Beep bop boop boop bop. I'm recording this for anyone else who was away when it happened. I can't tell who escaped in the sound voice, but the other was taken through the vents one by one. The doors were locked, but the ceiling vents were open. There was no way to run and no one to let them out. It was like a fox dropping into a hen house. I should move on. There's a couple of survivors who still trust the marshal in the mall. And then there was Sinclair and his idiot man with guns somewhere in habitation. But I doubt either will last a week. That, I feel like that did not line up perfectly with the subtitles. check this real quick. I definitely don't have time for this. Okay, this is making me very nervous doing this. Oops. Actually, I think we're okay to read. I think we're okay to read real quick. Uh, to the camp group, we can't f keep up a full guard 24-7, but with the volunteer lookouts and the spires existing security system, we can keep it watertight. From this point onward, we don't raise the security shutters for anyone, and all supply runs have to go through me. Don't know how much longer I can take this. It's cramped and dirty, and the trash is starting to rot. I don't even know if we're really safe here. Came back from recon last week with a couple of guns. I'm starting to see a different side to some of the people here. Maybe that woman, Winters, was right. Okay, shit's falling apart. I mean, we already knew that. is I can't go through this doorway it's locked which I guess is my doing I just locked it okay robot is right there still checking out this general area huh? oh he doesn't Come on, guy, will you get out of here? I really got bigger problems. Seal off the stairwell. The alien. Get out of here. You're really making this hard on me. I can't just shoot him. The alien's here. Oh. I'm just gonna slip on by. Could have gave him a little smack on the ass as I went by, but you know. We keep it cheeky around here. Wow, okay. What am I doing walking around? Who do I think I am? Can I craft anything right now? 
charge packs. Do you require a charge pack? No, the charge pack is the like. Okay, whatever. I want to get the lore real quick. I want to get the lore. It took her and I couldn't do a thing to stop it. First it tore through Dog, then I cut Liam in half and threw him aside like a rag doll. Then it quartered Emma. I was in the shadows and I didn't, and it didn't see me. Emma was calling for me, calling for help, but I couldn't move. I was too scared. If I, I let it take her, but I'm going to find her. Find this arm yourself. I am armed. Eric, can you hear me? Eric, damn comms are screwed again. You there, Eric? It's Lincoln. Can you hear me? I made it down to tech support. I picked up some canvases of water and some battery packs. I want some tools, too. A lot of stuff has already been looted. I'm going to try and break into the lockup. I think they're keeping security hackers in there. We could use one, but I'm not going to stay down here for much longer. There's something god. I don't know what's scary as crap down here. I want to get back to freight. Call me if you get this, okay? I swear to god. The alien is out. I hear it walking around. And the stupid robot is here as well. Oh, I didn't have the flamethrower out! No, that sets me back so far. God damn it, I didn't have the flamethrower out. I just shot it like a jackass. God damn it. Oh god, it's right there. Ugh. Oh right, I don't think I've actually opened the door yet. Oh my goodness, that sets me back so far. At least I have a better idea of where I'm going. That's like 90% of it, right? You know, figuring out where you're going. Ricardo's finalizing the lockdown. You need to close the security doors all around the stairwell. Then the supply storage, maintenance access, and server hub reception. Report in as you go. Sucks. Damn it. This is getting annoying. With how many of these ass hats there is. There's the alien! Ah, oh, leave me alone! Back off! Just out of my way! Everyone out of my way! God! I don't want to do that too often. Because it... It doesn't work forever. But, like, I didn't want to just die there. Oh my god, I just flamethrowered your ass. Could you leave me alone, please? And the robot is here. It doesn't know. It doesn't know. Kick W. It also does not care about the robot. It doesn't know. It doesn't know. I think it's pissed though. Yeah, it doesn't care about the robot, and the robot is only mildly interested in it. Dude, yeah, I think the alien is pissed that I flamethrowered its ass. Here, you know what? Let's make this a little easier on myself. You gonna go check that out, buddy? There we go. That's a good little robot. Okay. 
it. I thought I was about to come out of that vent. Oh, it might be up there. Are you winning? It's been difficult. We're definitely getting into a tougher part of the game. I feel like it's right up there, you know? But it has definitely gotten more difficult. But at least I have a flamethrower now. Which always makes me feel better, personally. I'm gonna go ahead and initiate, like, lockdown. Supply storage locked down. Okay. Uh, okay. I need to hit the stairwell and maintenance access corridor. Is this what I'm looking for? I don't know. I don't know anymore. There's an injector here at least. That means I can make a med kit, which I am in desperate need of. Let's go. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it right away. No, don't swing your goddamn weapon, you asshole. I started to say either asshole or asshat, and I, I couldn't figure it out while I was saying it. The robot I can, like, deal with on its own, but the fact that the alien is also here is, like, a real issue. I can't just- because uh, if it was just the robot, I could just, like, stun it or shoot it or something. But there's also an alien! And I don't want to use the flamethrower on the alien too much. Damn it, and they're like right here. It's really devious of the game devs to put these two things together. Shit, I think I'm in a race here. How he didn't see me, I have no idea. But uh never lift a never never look a gift horse in the mouth, is what mom always used to say. Uh, he's just ignoring me, actually. He's not in the mood to deal with me right now. He's like, I got bigger problems, honestly. Because he definitely saw me there. There's no way he didn't. Is there anything of note in here? Some loot. I'm so loot brain, dude. Oh, hello. This, 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 this. Perform 10 successful security hacks. I think we're okay. Sinclair, I have verified reports that you and your men are shooting civilians and looting supplies. When I find a way to kill this creature, I hope to hell that it found you first. Sinclair, I know we've had our... Wait, I know we've had our differences since you and Six and Security Team arrived in Sevastopol. Right now we have a severe situation. In return for your total cooperation, I am willing to drop my investigation into your involvement in unregistered black market trading and drop all claims I had on that Sevtex Buyers Marshall office where you and your thugs operate from. Let's do this right. I opened up the cells. Why not? I don't know, man. It gave me the option. Uh, right. I gotta go back and lock down this hallway. I think we're okay to move a little faster here. All right, let's initiate lockdown. Maintenance access shut off. All right, can't go back that way, I guess. Let's 
it's probably the Rubit. What was that? God, that noise scared me. Okay, server hub reception room. Okay, it's on this side, I guess. Ooh, that door is locked. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's that thing right there. But the goddamn robot is here. Oh wait, hold on, the robot just left. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, 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 come on! Is it gonna speed that up at all? Okay, I actually thought that would like shut down that area, but it just opened the door. I've already connected you. Ripley, there's an override command that allows you to initiate the emergency lockdown. It's on the terminal behind the reception desk. What are you doing here, man? Hold on, I gotta search for loot real quick. Oh, I oh, I guess I'm reloading while I'm at it. Okay, I that was weird. I didn't understand what it was doing there. Access code. Franco Omega. No. said I don't want to keep doing that. Hmm. They wouldn't leave me alone. I've been investigating these archive leaks and I'm pretty sure it's just faulty hardware. These RS systems are too old to properly integrate into something as complex as Apollo. I found something else out though. It looks like someone has been accessing people's private messages and camera feeds for the last couple of years. God's sake. Why would this thing not just let me read the goddamn lore? Did he tell me what the... Did he tell me what the code was? I found something else that it looks like someone has been accessing people's private messages and camera feeds for the last couple of years. The executive suits, San Cristo, even the Marshall's brew has been hacked. Does the name Ransom mean anything to you? Come on, 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 load! 7789. Okay. It's ransom. Hughes, it's ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay. I'm looking for a new log that I've been decrypting. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started a trip home. Nothing that's gonna break anything. Still, no one else needs to know about it, right? God damn it. If you talk, well, there'll be consequences. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty Marie doesn't know, right? So let true, so true. Let me know when they're done. We can keep this civil. So true, buddy. So true. Can we can keep this civil? We don't need to be rude to one another. Oh, hello. I will be with you shortly. What? What are the androids on tonight? He just didn't care. I would investigate by just showing myself to him, but I'm very far in without a save file, and I need a save file. Oh, bugs, gross. Do the androids just not care about me? I 
guy got shot to death. Do you not care about me? Dude does not care. I set up an emergency shutdown at the terminal inside the server box. Nice. Need to trigger it from there. Now. Oh, that's not fair. Come on! I am not going to lose my lose my save game from it spawning right on top of me. That's bullshit. I don't care how resistant to the flamethrower it becomes. Leave me alone! I didn't hear a word that guy said. I was just walking along and it decided to drop down directly on top of me. That's bullshit. I will not stand for it. Okay, what am I doing? Lock down the server farm. This guy had a bunch of drinks on him. Can I make any noise? Maybe I'll throw up. Wow, this is very bright. I'm kind of... Wow, what happened in here? I'm kind of running a little down on ammo. But you know what? You guys hear my dog? Way off in the distance. Oh my god, she's losing her mind. Dude, this thing is on top of me. It will not leave me alone. I guess I have trapped it in here. I don't know how many of these robots are going to be friendly. Or at least indifferent. interesting thing, right? I'm just gonna sneak on by. Oh, god damn it. Is this not where I was? Oh no, it's it's gotta be through this door, right? Do I need the Do I need the access tutor? I do! That's such bullshit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Easy peasy, easy peasy, first try, baby. Okay, just went up in the vent. But I'm where I need to be. Dude, it's so pissed at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh Let's go. Dude, I'm a hacking god. You got it. Is my exit open, Ricardo? Wait a minute. Ricardo, is my exit clear? Jesus, he's shot. Don't move. What? Oh fuck. I'm trapped in here with the thing. I'm trapped in here with the goddamn alien. I gotta get out of here, man. I don't wanna die in here. Okay. I mean I don't know how long this flamethrower is gonna keep it off of me. <gasps> Ricardo, you got news for me. I need more time. I don't have more time. Dude, I'm trapped in here with a goddamn xenomorph. What? No, 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 no. 
Ah, I was too slow. I was hoping it wouldn't notice me. God damn it. God damn it. I was... I, ah. Okay, right. Lock down the server hub. These guys are indifferent to my presence. What is this noise that I'm making? You guys hearing this? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Uh, let's make a Molotov. Bonding agent. Uh, right. Saying unidentified species, which means the Xeno is right over there, actually. Coolant control. Seed zone. Why is the music doing this to me? down the server farm. I'm, com I'm in a completely different area. There's a maintenance stack here. I can hear it padding around out there. I just hope it's not heading towards me. I should not have gone in that direction. I'm just thankful that the robot isn't up my ass right now. Oh, I don't like using my flamethrower this much. But that's kind of the point we've reached. Okay, where am I going? Oh, I'm going in the completely wrong direction. You know, flamethrower or not, I probably should not be running around. Here, past the same point. Leave me alone. I'm just gonna. Oh, come on. Oh, God, it's sniffing. I think it just sniffed the air. Oh, I needed to go that way. Oh, why? Get out of here, please. Go up into the vent. Go up into the vent. Will you just go up the vent? Thank you. I should not have gone in this direction, clearly. What was I thinking? Uh, okay. Woo! There we go. I'm gonna take your flamethrower fuel. Sorry, buddy. I'm thinking that too. I need a med kit. Yeesh! See, if I was on this ship, I simply would have left a long time ago. I would not have stayed on here and waited for the alien to show up. I mean, they were talking on it about how, like... Oh, for God's sake. This place has been going down the shitter for a while, you know? So 
so like I just wouldn't have stuck around personally. Please be indifferent to me. Thank God the androids are indifferent to me right now. Why did I come along this way? Oh, I can hear it thumping. Thanks for the loot, though. Thanks for the loot. Right, I need to access Tuner my way in again. Oh, god damn it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, let's go, first try. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, there we go. Easy peasy, easy peasy. We're making good progress. Is my exit open, Ricardo? Wait a minute. Ricardo, is my exit clear? Fix it, Ricardo. God damn it. I gotta escape. I gotta get out of here. Damn it, Ricardo. Can I squeeze through this? No. Ricardo, you got news for me. I need more time. I don't have more time. Damn it, Ricardo. You want me to die in here? Are you trying to kill me, Ricardo? Is that what this is? Do you hate me? This is not the exit I thought it was. Or maybe it is? Oh, there's not even loot in here for me. This is not an exit. This is not an exit is the name of my new band. Where am I going? Just back around top? Can I? Nope. Plasma torch upgrade required. And I don't have that. Oh, I can hide in this. Thanks. Thanks for the alert, Robo Boy. Oh god, let me through. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Down the hallway, to the left, up a flight of stairs, up your butt, and around the corner. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm too loot-brained, I can't, I can't leave it behind. Oh, I'm refueling right now. I'm sorry, I'm too loot-brained, I'm too loot-brained. Okay, okay, okay. Bonk. Come on, give me access to the to the goddamn save point. I don't wanna have to redo this whole thing. Ah, I was wrong! The save point's in the other direction. Please, I just wanna be able to breathe again. 
the little teleport forward. That's a little speedrunner tech. They don't teach you that in uh, alien school. You gotta learn that one on the streets. Where you're far away, you can teleport forward to get to the maintenance jack. I don't care about hostels. There's always hostels nearby nowadays. that okay good to see you don't care I mean yes I am that's because I'm security oh it's all the way back here okay I am security and I am allowed to carry around a flamethrower it's all part of the gig baby Ricardo how did you open it back up I had to suppress the alert. It was the only way to get Ripley out. You let it out? We had it locked down, and you let it out? Ripley, it's still on your tail. Where should I go? Take the elevator to Gemini Labs. If it follows, we can still trap it there. Ripley, Ricardo, we can't let it escape again, no matter what. Anything for the mission, baby? Anything for the mission? I don't know why these androids are so chill with me, but I mean, it makes my life a lot easier. And I feel like it was pretty dangerous even with them being okay with me. Nice. These injectors are not very common, so... When I craft up a couple of medkits, actually, I often find myself lacking them. Okay, let's make another noisemaker. I like noisemakers. You know what? While we're at it, let's make a smoke bomb. We finally got enough items to craft. We got enough crafting ingredients to make all the good shit. I can actually make a fourth medkit. Let's do it. Make more med kits, but I'm okay with not doing that right now. RIP in peace, in peace, in peace. I am hoping that's just the uh, android that the motion detector is alerting me to. I think it was up, right? I'm pretty sure it was up. I feel confident. Er, more confident walking? Somebody should probably pick that up. <laughs> the hell was that? What was that? Why was there suddenly just a scream? All right, I'm turning around. I left. I thought we were friendly. I left, I left. I see no need to get hostile. Okay, so we're getting hostile. You guys are gonna attract the alien. Fuck. I tried to warn you. Hey, don't come over here. Oh, idiots. Fuck. That's why I was screaming. Somebody got murdered and triggered that. All right, just leave me alone. Oh, it doesn't care about the flamethrower anymore. Jesus. 
Who doesn't care about the goddamn flamethrower? Give me your loot. Oh, come on! Oh. Damn it. I knew I was overusing the flamethrower, god damn it. That's a weird thing for it to make that noise before I, uh... No, don't head back in. For it to make that noise before I get the motion detector out. I mean, thankfully, getting the motion detector out stops that noise. But it is slowly growing more and more indifferent to the flamethrower. Right, I'm heading in the god. It's I'm getting lost in here. Thanks. I'm gonna keep moving. Actually, I wish I could stay in chit chat, but I got places to thing do things to place. You know, I'm a very busy woman. I'm going to alert those people, and so they shoot at me, and so they die to the uh, alien. I had to suppress the alert. It was the only way to get Ripley out. I think I have gone to the wrong area. You let it out. We had it locked down, and you let it out. Ripley, it's still on your tail. Excuse me, sir. Where should I go? Take the elevator to Gemini Labs. You're a woman? Follows, yeah, dude, I'm Ripley's daughter. Oh, uh, I have to recraft everything. We can't let it escape again, no matter what. Damn it, that's what I was really hoping to avoid, having to recraft everything. That's the real horror. Yeah, I am the daughter of the woman from the first movie. Isn't that fun? Maybe I should hit the alien with a goddamn Molotov. That might slow it down a little. Down. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. Is there a save point? Yeah, actually. No, it's on the other side of this wall. Am I heading in the right direction? Yeah, I am. Yeah, those are the uh, windows that I went through previously. That I looked at previously when I heard Ripley go, Oh God! Because she was reacting to somebody's death. But I didn't see it. But it was nearby. Okay, let's get a save off. So I don't have to walk all the way back again if I die. Which I won't, but if I do... Oh, how spooky. Are you gonna scream again, Ripley? Someone should probably get that cleaned up, huh, Ripley? Yeah, she made the noise again. That was funny. That's weird. Okay, guys. You want to shoot at me to attract the alien? Ooh, look at me. Don't make this hard. I'm not messing around. Oh, look, here I come. Ow, ow, ow. Shouldn't have done that, buddy. You're gonna pay for that one. Any second now. Oh, 
just gonna hit the emergency override on that bad boy. Oh, you got it. You guys are fucked. Oh, what the hell? Oh, goodbye. Fuck! Yeah, I'm just gonna wait this one out. It took you it took you long enough, huh? I was sitting here waiting for like hours. You're alive over there? Man hit as well as I do. You really want to be shooting at me right now? I can't believe they did this. Who is this they you're talking about? There's the goddamn alien running about. Here, man, will you hold this for me? Actually, hold on. I'll, I won't kill it. Actually, yeah, I will. It's not yours. It was nice knowing you, buddy. Jesus! Took care of my little problem for me. Thanks for the assist, Zeno. I mean, listen, I don't love killing every other person on this station. But if they're gonna keep shooting at me, then a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, you know? Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Seek song. Hopefully, the speaker system will keep it confused. Okay, yep, this is it. I am out of here. Wahoo! Let's go, boys. We're clean. We are out of here. Not a problem, baby. Like clockwork. <laughs> wow, that was a tough section. I think Gemini waits. We need that whole facility powered up. There's a freight elevator you'll need to take, but ever since Seekson pulled funding from Gemini, it's been out of action. Of course there is, right? I wanted it. Ah, uh, hostels nearby? When are they not? Oh, hello. Given up, have we? Yeah, it looks like it. Can't say I blame you. This really doesn't feel right, does it? No, it doesn't. All right, restore access to distribution. All right, let's do it. Why don't more of these doors have the emergency override? It's in a storeroom up ahead, and for God's sake, do it quietly. Thanks for the advice, asshat. My man, this update kicks ass. I'm happy to hear it. They added that to Dead by Daylight. That, like, spray chemical. That chemical spray thing. I'm happy to hear you're enjoying it, man. I'm getting my ass kicked by an alien, personally. Alright, looks like it's a fairly straight shot. So when is it ever? Trying to sell that whole outfit for years, along with Sebastopol. No one ever bit, but it means security's still online. Okay, enough talk now, Waits. Thanks for the help, Waits. You know, 
why don't you know wait if this plan is so important to you why don't you come down here and do it yourself instead of sending me you know damn i know man i know honestly it's disrespectful unrespectful survivor maids oops i accidentally pressed my windows key Unrespectful alien xenomorph gamer. Back when I started screaming. Oh god, a camera? No. No. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know if the I don't know if it can see the light from the flamethrower or if that's diegetic. Oh really motion camera? Is there something there? Thanks for letting me know. Uh hey man. Could you like leave? Thanks. Android, please help me out. Oh. Is anything gonna happen here? Nope, they don't care about each other. still up. God damn it, I don't even know where I'm trying to go. Back here is where I'm trying to go in this little this little cubby hole, which is now my new home, actually. Actually, I think I'm going to set up shop in this cubby hole. This cubby hole will be my home for the rest of my life. I'm going to get a little snack bar back here. I'm gonna get a water fountain. It's gonna be great. I'm going to get a heated pool in this cubby hole. Uh, at least then you don't have to pay taxes. That's right. My cubby hole, it's gonna be a tax free environment. Nobody has to pay taxes in cubby hole land. Nobody has to worry about xenomorphs in Cubby Hole Land. In here, the world is safe and warm. And nobody ever has to worry about anything. Unfortunately, we cannot stay in Cubby Hole Land forever. Okay, I turned off the camera system at least. Let's go, the Plasma Torch. It's about goddamn time. Can I craft anything real quick? Yeah, another med kit. And a noisemaker, why don't you? I was talking to one of my friends who I've told that I like to do some streaming and they were like yeah you want to be like a gamer right and i'm like please don't tell people that like you want to be a gamer right i could have sworn i've had this item before but whatever like could you imagine walking up to someone and you're like Hey man, what do you do as a profession? And they're like, I'm a gamer. It's funny. Mice Man has non-gamer friends. Hard to believe, I know. But like, how do you, I was like, n like, <laughs> like, I don't know. How do you explain that, you know? God, that'd be so cringe. I know, I was like, when they were like, yeah, you want to be a gamer, right? I'm like, no, don't tell people that. That's not, that's not what I mean. 
when I say a screamer. Uh, funding. No longer receive funding. Not liable. Personally, thank you for the time you spent with us. Uh, you can access the maintenance systems using key code 8897. Check request in sector C12. Received as confirmed. A service caretaker is on its way. Just because I'm good at video, if I'm gonna be have a profession, it's gonna be a musician. Just because I'm good at video games, it's a side gig does not mean I'm a gamer. Exactly. I don't want I don't want to go around like telling people I'm a gamer. That's so, like, uh, they meant well, I'm sure. They meant well, but they, uh, it's just an awkward thing to say. Like, an awkward thing to try to explain to someone who is not really in this sort of sphere. You know what I mean? It's like, so what? You want to, like, play video games for a living? Like a child? Like a little baby child person? They didn't say that, obviously. But that's what it feels like. I just thought calling it a gamer is very funny. Um, hey, kids have it good. They do. I'll work it to the area. Where can I find the power breakers' weights? I see one in the analysis labs. The others in the decontamination room. They totally meant it that way. Arthur, that is not. No, they didn't. I am sure they didn't mean it that way. They supported 100%. They, it's just, like I said, awkward. I hope this robot is indifferent to me. I feel like this robot might not be indifferent to me. Some kids have mental health better than some people in this chat. I bet kids have better mental health than most people in this chat. Running around at the speed of sound. Then again, if I want to prove that I'm a alpha male, maybe I shouldn't be singing Sonic. Who up being in Mice Man's chat? OMG me. OMG me. Oh man, this guy got. He got Xenode for sure. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Gamers don't get respect. We scare our. Have you guys seen that copy pasta? Where it's like, gamers are real heroes. They are up here voluntarily getting spooked by Xenomorph. Like, the, it wasn't Xenomorphs, obviously, but it's like, they run through war zones voluntarily because they care. Because they love the thrill of it. Real gamers out here are getting spooked because they love it. And if you don't respect gamers, then you don't respect... The, the explorers of the world. What? I know. We are like Christopher Columbus sailing across the ocean. We are gamers and we will rise up. It was something like that. I don't think it was that dramatic. Nice man, what in the goddamn fuck are you talking about? I'm not the one who said this! It was some weirdo on like Reddit or something. It was some copy pasta I saw a long time ago. I love talking about gamers. Of course it was Reddit. I said or something. Passcode required. It 
was Viceman391. God, I hate that guy. Am I right, fellow chatters? As Miceman392, he brings a bad name to the Miceman clan. I have no respect in my heart for Miceman391. Miceman391? You mean that loser who thinks he's Miceman? Exactly. We here only. We here in my Twitch chat, we only respect Miceman392. Error. We're gonna have to find a new way to get the goods in the Sebastopol. Cargo under scrutiny. Deal with real crimes rather than harassing businessmen and screwing with their deals. Many of you are upset with the current situation and the total imminent shutdown of Gemini. Ensure that the future of Sebastopol itself is 100% secure. Liar. Early negotiation with interest corporate bias to begin in earnest. Please deposit all equipment. Hold on, I am getting a call. Chat, chat, we got a very special guest for you here today. It's my good friend Noah. Say hi, Noah. Hello! Alright, and, and that was Noah for you guys. Lucas Lucas has said Noah, and Arthur Solo said what? Noah, do you have anything you want to share with the fine chatters before I hang up with on you? Okay, thank you, Noah. Okay, bye. Uh, yep. Talk to you later, man. Bye. Okay, uh, I can tell you're keeping him on a leash. Yep, definitely keeping him kept captain. Why did he call in on a phone? You tell me, Bayan. You tell me the quality thing. Is this a talk show? No. I thought it was funny, though. Yeah, I think he got out of his car or something. Uh, 2743. We have made a full inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, what was the passcode? 2743. Uh, anyway, that was Noah. Oops. Check him out at noah.ulu at rodentreadinghour at gmail.com. Well, I am almost fully stocked up on everything. Dude, it's so weird, this, like, noise. But, look. <laughs> but, uh... Paul scream around, scream, screeches, starts beatboxing, doesn't elaborate, leaves. Giga Chad, dude. Giga Chad. Shit. You don't look like Noah. Okay, uh, right. Which way were we heading? Can we head in this direction? No. Gotta have to go across the hall, I guess. No, we're not. Guess we're not going across the hall, actually. Stupid 
camera get out of the way. Alerted the goddamn xenomorph. Who moves very fast. I wish no one was here with me right now, beatboxing. It would help me stay calm in these troubling times. Damn it, man. I'm just gonna run right past. I don't have time to worry about this. I wish we had Noah's succulent beatboxing in our ears right now. But unfortunately, we do not. Who leaves these giant air vents in a spaceship anyway? Oh man, someone's dead in there. Oh, this is where I'm heading. When you're making a spaceship, right, are you like, I gotta make sure to leave giant alien-sized holes everywhere. This is a good plan. Yoink. Okay, not what I thought. My guess is that they're supposed to be human-sized. Why are the humans crawling around in the vents? Despite what James Bond might tell you, we do not crawl around in vents all that much, I would guess. I don't know if that alien- I don't know if that robot's upset with me. They fucked it up during the process? It wouldn't surprise me. This is Seek Sun we're talking about. I think this guy is indifferent to me too. If the animatronics can do it, then so can humans. Why can animatronics crawl around? You know what, that's another thing. Okay, look. Okay, I love FNAF 2. Okay, don't get me wrong, I love FNAF 2. It's probably one of my top three favorite FNAF games, if not my favorite FNAF game. But we gotta talk about how ridiculous it is that the animatronics can crawl around in the air vents. Walking around at night, okay, I can handle that. I can handle the animatronics walking around at night. What is this symbol again? Personal terminal. I can handle the animatronics walking around at night. But, like, crawling through vents and shit? Like, you see, you see, like, one of the animatronics that can go in the vent is like goddamn like mangled body. I didn't come ac get across the Freddy debate during Hedgehog's Killer Lies. You could just knock Freddy over because he ain't programmed to get up. Well, okay, I'm not worried about the programming thing, right? Because Freddy's like possessed by a dead child that is clearly letting it operate outside the bounds of what it's supposed to do. That's why they attack you, right? They're possessed by dead kids. I can handle that. And you and you look like the guy who killed them. I can handle that. I think that's acceptable. But I feel like an animatronic cannot physically fit through an air vent. Like, Balloon Boy? Sure. Toy Bonnie? Maybe. Goddamn, like, Withered Bonnie? No. Or, or like, what? Or like, okay, like, Mangle. Oh, hell no. No, no chance they can. Mangle! Oh, and, and Balloon Boy, I can believe, can fit through the air vents. Balloon Boy because he's small. Mangle because they're, are like, all fucked up looking. And they can probably squeeze through into surprisingly tight spaces. Uh, where am I? What am I looking for here? I do not believe that some of the animatronics, however, that crawl through the vents cannot do it. Or can do it, rather. It is, frankly, ridiculous. Alright, looks like I'm going all the way around. I could take on the entire FNAF franchise. What do you mean, like, in a conversation or in, like, a fight? Because I can think of several animatronics that I know you cannot take in a fight. Both? T 
tell me, describe to me exactly, okay, how you plan on taking on Nightmare Fredbear in a fight. Will you do that for me? Will you describe to me how you plan on taking on Nightmare Fredbear in a fight? I want you to convince me of that. You know what? Further than that, convince me how you're going to take on, like, goddamn, like, Baby in a fight. Baby's huge. She's like seven, she's like seven or eight feet tall. First of all, is Nightmare Fredbear real in the first place? They might just be endoskeletons with mimics with, with like, distortion chips attached to them or some shit. Like in the book. You know what I'm talking about? Reset people. Okay, fine. Night not night not nightmare Fredbear then. How about um who's <laughs> a real animatronic? Like like baby. Yeah, how are you gonna take on baby? Or like fun time Freddy? Please please inform me. Time to go. Please in inform me how you're going to beat Fun Time Freddy. You, it would be a difficult fight, you're just gonna have to Doom Slayer it. Nicholas Cage could do it, so could I. Yeah, but are you Nicholas Cage? You are not. I'm sorry to say, Lucas, you are not Nicholas Cage. Why are there most? Oh, god damn it, man. I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time to reload either. Leave me alone. I might not be Nicolas Cage, but I do be spiteful enough. I mean, I'm glad you're confident, if nothing else. I admire your confidence. Yeah, whatever. Into the air vent, why don't we? Let me ask you this, Lucas. Okay. And this is a tough one. Who would win in a fight? Freddy Fazbear or the Xenomorph? And, you know, let's take it one further. Okay. Which, the Xenomorph? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Which Five Nights at Freddy's character has the best chance against the Xenomorph? I think that's the real question. I feel like probably like like as nuts as it sounds, like like Lefty or something, right? Lefty was made to contain the puppet. I bet Lefty could spring trap? Nah, not spring trap. How could spring trap take on the xenomorph? How could Springtrap possibly handle Zeno? He's like an actual human mind. A ton of humans die to the Zeno all the time. That's there's nothing impressive about having a human mind against the Zeno more. A better chance? I think it'd have to be a real tank of a character. I'm thinking something like Baby. I know I keep bringing up Baby, but Baby's huge. I mean, you're alive? Yeah, but I've gotten lucky, like, several times. Like, in canon. Springtrap also got lucky, Lamal. 
Yeah, but how lucky is a guy... What are we talking about now? Who, Which FNAF character could beat the Xenomorph in a fight? And Lucas is saying Springtrap, I'm saying Baby. I, just because Springtrap... Okay, first of all, I would not consider Springtrap lucky. The guy, like, fucking got trapped in a Springlock suit. That is, like, the most unlucky thing in the world. Can I not get back in this? I have to be very specific. Have a better chance of surviving? I don't know, man. I have my doubts. I think Baby. Baby's huge. She could just, like, wallop. Okay, actually. Actually, Lucas. Ennard? Ennard could do it? How could Ennard do it? I think Springtrap is the worst choice. As we have seen in this game several times, the Xenomorph ignores the androids because they, 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 don't, they don't, like, smell of flesh or whatever. I bet... I bet... Baby could get, like, right up close to the Xenomorph, and it would ignore her because she's a robot. And then she could just reach out and just... You know what I'm saying? Just grab its little head and squish it with her big, meaty hands. And by meaty hands, I mean big metal hands. Uh, Arthur, how do you think Ennard could do it? What, what, like, would Ennard, like, slither into the Xenomorph's two mouths or something? Does you know like notice an attacker and definitely kick her ass back? Baby has ice cream in her fingers. Baby is like eight feet tall. It is made to kidnap people. Baby's nuts. I would love to know what you guys think Ennard and Springtrap are going to do that Baby cannot do. Better. Baby also has human intelligence. All the animatronics are not built for fighting, even if they satisfy dead kids. It won't mean they can fight the fucking Xenomorph. I'm not saying they can win. Although I do think Baby, if given the element of surprise, could win. Check request in sector C12. Receive Didn't I just do this? Initialize the distribution conduit? But I certainly don't think that... Are you gonna do something for me? Does baby know karate? She doesn't need to! She's huge! She'll just kick his ass! Literally! She'll just get right up to the xenomorph. Because the xenomorph will ignore her because she's a robot. And then she'll, like, just grab it, right? And then it'll be over. And then, okay, yes. Now the Xenomorph... Now the Xenomorph is upset. But Baby already has it in her hands. And then she can just, like, rip it in half. Ennard can just launch itself into the Xenomorph's mouth and become the Xenomorph. Uh, you ready for this one, Arthur? You ready for this one? Acid blood. Ennard would disintegrate. Oh, I see. Ennard would disintegrate. Where are you getting the assumption that Baby is strong enough to rip an alien in half? She's huge! She can, like, carry kids around, and she's a robot. Robots are strong. How would any FNAF character beat it then? Baby rips it in half. That's it. Elevator's online, Ripley. 
Baby rips it in half. Yes. God damn it. Kids are not that heavy. He doesn't need to carry the goddamn thing around. She just needs to rip it. Scott could beat the Xenomorph, but I mean FNAF World Scott? Yeah, sure. God damn it. Oh, I was trying to select the goddamn flamethrower. Scott could beat the Xenomorph, and I mean FNAF World Scott? Yeah, anim anima dude could do it for sure. But that's, that's like saying, like, like, Stan Lee could beat the Xenomorph. Just use a scape key? Exactly. Like a 60% chance to kill there. You certainly didn't beat the Xenomorph? I never said I could beat the Xenomorph. Just a second, sir. Oh, that was weird. I was like inside of him. Stanley? You don't know FNAF Stanley, Lucas? What the hell are you talking about, Arthur? What is this Stanley character? What are you- what are you talking about, FNAF Stanley? Is this like a- is this a Ligma thing? You mentioned Stanley? When did I mention Stanley? What are you guys talking about? What is Stanley? What? What- what are you guys talking about? Did I fuck up by not triggering the distribution center first? I have- we were talking about- Oh! Stanley! No! Stan Lee! Stan Space Lee, the creator of Marvel Comics. Oh, I think I fucked this up. No, Stan, Arthur, you're close. There's two E's. Oh, fuck me then. I, yeah, yeah, my point is right. If you got, you know, like a godhead to do it. Sure. No, there's no why. There's no why. He's like he's like the the god of the Marvel universe, right? That's what I'm trying to say when you say Scott Cawthon can beat the Xenomorph. Like obviously. Why not? Very funny. The Xenomorph isn't in FNAF canon, though? Yeah, what's your point? No shit, Arthur. Hold on, you guys keep talking about this. My dog is begging to be let out. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I think Kika's magic rainbow could beat the Xenomorph by trapping it in FNAF World. <laughs> Easy. Fuck your ass in blood. Dude, he's pissed that I said Ennard would get dissolved in the Xeno blood. <laughs> he's pissed, dude. I think, I think Chica's Magic Rainbow would definitely beat the Xenomorph. How little that actually means, curb bomb battles like that are obvious. Yeah, I mean, Chica's Magic Rainbow for sure, like, slaps Xeno's ass. That much is clear. That's why the Godhead comparison was made in the first place. Exactly! That's why I'm saying. Yeah, it's why I'm saying that obviously Scott or anime dude would be able to beat the Xenomorph. It's just, it's like. Oh, come on. Yeah, get out of here! Obviously, Scott wouldn't be able to beat the Xenomorph. It's not even a competition. What happens to the remnant in Ennard when dissolved in acid blood? Maybe? Okay, here's something we haven't considered. What if Ennard possesses the Xenomorph? How fucked would William Afton be in that scenario? Also, I really cannot keep using the flamethrower on this thing. Ennard has now possessed... <laughs> okay, okay. Sister location, everything's exactly the same, except Ennard is now also a, a xenomorph. What happens? It is a very good body for Ennard. It is a very, like, strong choice. I feel like Ennard would become one of the strongest characters in the FNAF world. Dude, what happened to this guy? Oh, I hate having the Molotov equipped. It's so big. Can Remnant survive... Can Remnant survive being dissolved in acid? So Eggs Benedict is just a Xenomorph? Sure, if that makes you happy. God, it's dusty in here. Maybe I shouldn't have started the air purifier, but I couldn't see a goddamn thing. Uh, the acid blood is such like a genius idea. What the, what about the sister light custom night ending? The new sister night custom light ending? Or the new sister location custom night ending is just you playing the entirety of Alien Isolation. That is the new Sister location, custom night ending. Woo! We made it. Yeah, that sounds about right. And if you die, you have to do the entire thing over again, including the FNAF part. Wait, I made it. Is it still after you? I think so. I got a plan. Head for the labs. Just head for the fucking labs, why don't you? <laughs> God damn it, I keep making that mistake. Oh, 
Oh my god. Nice. What a cute little guy. I'm gonna burn it. Meanwhile, I have no idea what's going on in the game. I mean, I know what's going on. We're trying to trap the Xenomorph. It's just been kind of slow going. We failed once and now we're trying again. Guys, what do you think if I do... Okay. If I end up doing a Halloween stream... Why the fuck would Lefty be able to take on this Xenomorph again? Oh yeah, I did say that, didn't I? Uh, Lefty captured the puppet. Oh dude, I remember being here. I, I came here a long time ago. Lefty captured... Oh, this music goes hard. Lefty captured the puppet. The puppet is one of the most powerful characters in FNAF. Ergo, Lefty would be able to capture the Xenomorph. I will explain no further. Could Lefty trap the Xenomorph inside its body? These are the questions we need to be asking ourselves. No. Why not? What what makes you say that no? Please give me a fully detailed report in the comments. All I know about the puppet is that it gives new life to corpses. I mean, true. And isn't the power to give life more powerful than the ability to take it? If you think about it? Have you ever considered that, chat? I would not put my hand in there, but what do I know? Wait, I'm in. The lab can be separated from the main station. Bring it back online, and systems can reconnect. Yes, it's why mothers are so powerful. In a lot, of, in a lot of people's minds, mothers are very powerful. Puppet shepherds the souls into the animatronics. Right. So what's stopping? Lefty from shepherding <laughs> the xenomorph into its body. Or better yet, what if the puppet shepherded a soul to take over? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if the puppet shepherded a soul to enter the xenomorph's body? Would that work? Or does it have to be an animatronic? We saw. Michael Afton take over his own body with the power of Remnant. He possesses himself, or rather his corpse. Can somebody do that to the Xenomorph? What the hell is this place? Yes, dot dot dot. Oh, right, you guys see what I'm saying here? Okay, so maybe Lefty couldn't beat the Xenomorph. But, given prep time, could the puppet? Is the Xeno dead? No. The Xeno is not dead. Can you possess a living body? We never see that in FNAF, but like... Golden Freddy has two souls inside of it, according to game theory. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, god damn it. Presumably... Presumably your body already has one soul inside of it. That being your own. Could the puppet... Is, if the Xenomorph doesn't mind the music bop, then puppet solos. So true. I bet the Xenomorph's the type of person to forget to wind the music box. You would assume. Uh, right, so, like, you're- you, clearly you're already in control of your own body, right? I 
Hold on, real quick first. And Golden Freddy has two souls inside of it. So, what's it? it assuming the Xenomorph has a soul, which is its own cup of tea, can the puppet usher in a new soul to take over the Xenomorph's body? What constitutes a soul? Uh, if it can be made into Remnant. There's a dead body up there. Oh, hello. That's it. I can see a power spike. Now, reconnect the lab systems to Sebastopol from the console in the central lab. We're counting on you, Ripley. Yeah, can do, buddy. Just gotta go all the way around again. <laughs> Remnant! Motherfucker brought up Remnant. Nothing's off the table anymore. Did he go underneath? Dude, why doesn't Ripley just coat the Xenomorph in Remnant, honestly? You know those jokes about, like, deploying Freddy Fazbear in, like, Iran or whatever? Like, Freddy Fazbear has been deployed. God have mercy on their souls. That was almost a plot point in Alien. I love those, they're very good. That was almost a thing that happened in Alien, where people would like control the xenomorphs. But that- oh come on. I thought I left my power scaling debates back in the past. The debate between who would win, Ennard versus the Xenomorph, is a very important one, and one we cannot pass up. again. What asshole designed this lab? That's what I want to know. Okay, it came down just to immediately leave again. I feel like you guys are just massively underestimating the actual alien here because again, baby could not take him, nice man. I, look, I'm not saying it would be a wash. I'm not saying Baby no sells the Xenomorph. But I'm saying if neither of them are bloodlusted and Baby was sneaking up to the Xenomorph on, on Sevastopol Station, I feel like she has a chance. Also, if the Xenomorph kills someone, it's the puppet could potentially do the soul of the deceased into the Xeno. Exactly. Arthur gets it. Then the more people the xenomorph kills the more souls the puppet could lead to the xenomorph until like until the xenomorph is just fucking stuffed with souls and it can't do anything anymore I got ejected with the Xeno. Shit. God damn it, guys. Hold on. The Xenomorph, Xenomorph debate's gonna have to wait. I just got ejected the space.
I knew he would do this to me. I'm sorry, Ripley. Oh, everything's at an angle. What the fuck are we delving into? What do you mean soul infused, you know? I'm saying that if the puppet is on Sebastopol Station, that it would every time the Xenomorph kills someone, which is a lot, the puppet would just guide that soul into the Xenomorph. Fuck, we are in danger, by the way. We're doing really badly. And then eventually, the Xenomorph would become stuffed with so many souls. Come on! Twenty five percent. Guys, you don't understand. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a second. I gotta tell where the Zeno is, I'm in danger myself. Nice, made it. Oh, thank God. Okay, woo! Run, 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 run! I, this is a cutscene, by the way. I'm not doing anything. Go, oh, whoo! At least we got ejected towards the station. Ow! Oh, no, I didn't grab on. That's really bad. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, I lost it again. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, we got rid of the Xenomorph. Woo, ejected it. Roughly just took that hit, goddamn. She did a good job. All right, guys, you don't understand. If the puppet, if the puppet was smoking some heavy weed and infused the soul into the Xeno, why would Charlie do that? Would it help the lost souls find purpose? Who cares? Who cares if it's helping the lost souls find purpose? The new soul's purpose is to inhabit the Xenomorph to stop it from killing other people. I do. I there. There's your reason. The souls are going to try to stop the Xenomorph. <laughs> well, fuck you. No, that's not. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Can anyone hear me? I cannot believe we made Ripley, it through that. Is that you? Yes, wait. Me, you son of a bitch. You locked me in. You blew the lab into space. I had no choice. No choice at all. You saw that thing, you saw what it could do. I had to get it off the station. By any means necessary. You could have killed me. Yeah. Use me as bait. <laughs> Leave me to die. Whoa, look at that. Look at this lovely new soul. I am so happy to see you, damn supercomputer. Actually, what if you consider this? Uh... Flexible and convenient order management panel, chat panel, everything in your hands. Wow. What it consider this though? Okay, uh where were we? Right. And it goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing. Jettisoned it into the gas giant. The station's safe. There's that. 
And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. It's so true, Ripley. I'm heading back to the Bureau. We can discuss your methods there. Ripley out. Yeah, what an asshole. I was actually thinking you'd fall for it. I mean, no. It's clearly a bot. Uh, canon reasons for events to happen shouldn't matter in these kind of debates. Exactly. It, it doesn't matter if the puppet wouldn't do that in canon. There's no way in canon that, that the xenomorph and the puppet would interact. Now, I do like the idea that it's doing that because it thinks it's hilarious. Because the puppet is super high and thinks it's hilarious to stuff a bunch of bodies into a xenomorph. But there is no can- now that is canon puppet. It is very funny to consider. Obviously that's not what the puppet does. I still think baby could do it. I'm still in the baby camp. But I know I'm in the minority there. can't change my mind. We are almost fully stocked on items. We've been doing really well for ourselves. We can still make more. Everything except medkits we are like fully stocked on. That is crazy. Oh, let's go! A shotgun! Hell yeah! We got ourselves a goddamn shotgun! What about Nightmare Balloon Boy? Yo, shotgun! Let's go, baby! 103F. I wonder what that is. Uh, what about Nightmare Balloon Boy? What about Nightmare Balloon Boy? Are you arguing that Nightmare Balloon Boy could take the Xenomorph in a fight? I'm not sure, right? Because Nightmare Balloon Boy is one of the... One of the characters that you fight... Uh, in like... Oh, here we go. I can cut this open. What kind of feats does Nightmare Balloon Boy have? Exactly. Uh, the only feat I know Nightmare Balloon Boy to have is that if you shine a flashlight on him, he stops moving. Trash in the gang can take the Xeno. Trash in the gang is literal garbage. Like, I'm not even trying to be insulting here. Trash in the gang is actual, like, literal garbage. Yes? What are you guys talking about? Are you saying trash and the gang could take... They could do it. Oh my god. Is this really what we're doing now? We're arguing that trash and the gang could fight the xenomorph? Please. Please. Could you guys please bring me up to date? They're garbage and they managed to defeat you? The hell are you talking about? Oh, do you? Okay, I'm not interested. That felt good. Mice man read. Oh, they're garbage, and they managed to deafen you. Yeah, but it's just a meme. Reverse, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you've shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Oh, I've already listened to this. Is the Xeno a meme? No. The Xeno is not a meme. Oh, <laughs> You took it too far, Lucas. You took it too goddamn far. Calm down. Get rid of the all caps and try again. You know how you know how conservative Nightbot is. You're creepy. 
I'll take the elevator. Yoink. Trash in the gang could defeat the Xenomorph because they wait healthy. Healthy could totally do it. Helpy might not even be real. Ripley, Ripley, he's recorded. He made it. No thanks to Waits. <sighs> he's a ruthless son of a bitch. Always has been. Stubborn too. If he'd ever listened to me, things would never have gone this far. It's done now. I'm sorry for fucking up with the lockdown earlier. Ah, don't worry about it. Forget it. You got me out in the end. I'll see you back at the bureau. Hey, you're all right, man. Again, helping might not even be real. How could helping might just be like a, a representation of the player? Please tell me how he could beat the Xenomorph. Hello. Oh, are you kidding me? Whoa, they're shooting at me. Jeez, man. Helpy can do taxes, the Xenomorph can't. Checkmate Xeno believers. Have you ever seen the Xenomorph try to do taxes and fail? Maybe the Xenomorph only does its taxes off screen. Yes, you're a liar. You have not seen the Xenomorph try to do its taxes. I don't believe you. How am I supposed to get here? I myself have actually seen the Xenomorph do its taxes. So that's one to the Xenomorph, one to Healthy. Where do I? Oh. Okay. You have seen the Xeno do taxes? Dude, trust me, fan fiction doesn't count. Who out here is writing fan fiction of the Xenomorph doing taxes? It's happens in Alien 5. Have you guys never seen that? You guys have never clearly never seen Alien 5. The Xenomorph does its taxes. Exactly. I've seen Alien 5 because I'm a horror aficionado. And let me tell you something. 45 minutes of it is taken up with the Xenomorph with funny little reading glasses on doing its taxes. And it is, it's, it sounds funny, and it is at first, but it gets old fast. EMP. Did I miss EMP mine one somewhere? Non-industrial synths. I think I missed this thing at some point. Nice, let's craft a couple. Construct one of each craftable item. Let's go. I'd watch that. You say that, it, it gets old, I promise you. Because it's just the Xeno, like, scratching its head, going like, Ah, oh, carry the two. Um, does does fighting the puppet for souls count as tax write-off? Rip, I'm about to rain on the parade. Something's up with the damn. Holy cow! Droids. Something's been up with the damn androids since I got here. No, this is new. They've left their posts. I just saw some of them in the public area. That's not normal. Great. Watch your back. I'm glad I just got the EMP thing. I don't know how I missed the blueprint level one. Uh, 
Uh, so I am actually writing fan fiction right now, not about the Zemo though. Oh yeah, you want to talk about it? Yeah, I've written a. I, I, I actually run a podcast about reading fan fiction. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's called the uh, Road Reading Hour. I like to think it's pretty good. Mice Man fanfic, dude. It'd be awesome if people wrote fanfics about me. That would be so wild. Where am I going? It's not a Mice Man fanfic. Pretty sure I've peeked with those. So true. I remember the one he wrote. It's pretty good. Nice, we gotta save. Okay, boys. Uh, this seems like a good place to call it. Uh, I've been streaming for over two hours now, so longer than normal. Uh, and I am gonna call it here. I've, I do have some stuff to do, but this has been really fun playing with you guys, talking with you guys. I really enjoyed tonight talking about which of the FNAF characters could see be a fight and also play in the game. Some fun stuff happened. We got a shotgun. We launched the Xeno into space. I can't believe we spent the entire stream debating about power scaling. Not the entire stream. Probably just the latter half of it. Uh, but it seems like we're getting pretty far along in the story. So I am looking forward to playing more with it. Uh, playing more of it with you guys later. Alright, I felt like the entire stream. I promise you it was not. Alright, good night everyone. Bye!